Hey guys, today I thought I would do just a little chatty video. So I really have absolutely no plan. I have kind of a topic in mind and that is about quitting YouTube. Being in, being on YouTube the way that I am as a very, 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 very minor small YouTuber, it's really difficult. It kind of makes you feel like, what, what's the point? I recently got a job and so it's part time so I'm not like taking up that much time away from YouTube and I went back to my baby babysitting job as well because I just need the money and YouTube is not paying bills at all. I'm really really struggling. YouTube is my dream. I love it and it's my favorite thing to do. I love to edit. I love to film. I love everything about this community except for the negative comments but that's a video for another time. I just wanted to sit here and talk with you guys a little bit about my feelings about it because it's been bumming me out a big time. A lot of the people have so many subscribers and are making their career to YouTube and they don't even like it. They don't even like it a little bit. They're not having fun with it. They don't enjoy it and I enjoy it guys. I don't know if you can tell when I edit my videos but I have a blast editing, filming, uploading, the whole part of it but it's just so discouraging when you've put so much time and effort into something and created it and it's just not getting to where you want it to be and when you want it to be your job so badly and you just you just can't seem to get it out there and it might be the fact that I struggle a lot with the whole self-promotion thing I won't spam I just don't believe in it I don't think it's right I don't think it's genuine and I know a lot of people are could do you just have to you just have to go in other people's videos and have to like promote yourself and I try I really do but I just refuse to do it in the way that other people do it in and maybe that's why I don't have as many subscribers and maybe that's why I'm not as successful as some other people but I just um I just I I won't do it I want to be genuine I want people to watch my videos and enjoy them there just has to be something about me that people aren't enjoying because I keep seeing so many people who started their channel in the last six months and great for them you know I'm not trying to hate on people who have you know made a successful channel recently I think that's amazing I just don't really get how and it bothers me because these people had just started I've been working so hard for three years now and I over three years and I just can't seem to make it and I don't know if this is something like that I've struggled with my whole life if it's like a confidence thing because I feel like YouTube has given me a lot of confidence because it's put myself out there I'm just completely been myself you guys can see from my beginning videos to now how much confidence I've gotten and how more of myself I'm being and it just really hurts that people can't see the effort you put in and they obviously there's something that people see in my videos that they don't like I use time hop the app that shows you what you posted a year or five years ago or whatever and I keep seeing all these things from last year recently um, at this time where like I only had 500 fewer subscribers than I have now so in the last year I've only gained 500 subscribers and it's not about the numbers but it is about the success and the fact that I try so hard and work so hard at this and I can't seem to make it work and what's, what's annoying about that is that if I don't do this and I do give up on YouTube anything else I do is going to be my second choice and if I couldn't make it at the thing that's my first choice what makes me think I can make it a thing that's my second choice. I don't know if I'm just not good enough to be successful on YouTube or what the problem is. It's really disheartening knowing now that I've graduated college and I can't seem to be successful at something and so especially something that I'm so passionate about. The job that I got recently actually has a lot to do with my experience with social media and writing and everything like that and so that definitely a few months ago when I got hired gave me the gave me some confidence you know it really boosted my confidence made me feel really good like I'm what I'm doing actually matters what I'm doing actually someone's noticed it it's getting recognition but I don't feel like on YouTube that's really happening I mean do you have my very loyal subscribers who I absolutely adore and I don't really know what I would do without YouTube at this point because I've been doing it for so long I'm so used to it if I go a week or so without editing I just feel weird and I just I really really like it a lot but then you put this effort into these videos and there's some videos where I've put countless hours and days and weeks even into videos and they just aren't hitting a certain number and then I watch other people's videos it seems like someone didn't put a lot of effort in and they just kind of fly like ease by and it just really bothers me and I guess it's part of comparing yourself to other people because as much as I've always done that you know no matter what I think everyone does that you know in high school compared myself to the pretty girls and there's always gonna be someone better and someone worse I get that but I think on YouTube just because it's so big now I feel like everyone and their mother and their grandmother and their brother is on YouTube and that's great and I think it's great that this, this platform is growing so much and that so many people like it so much and that it's growing and all these people are getting better opportunities but then I sit here and think I started three years ago and I'm not sitting here begging for a shout out or anything and I'm not asking you guys you know help me you know send me subscribers or anything like that I'm sitting here asking you guys if you know why 
I don't even know if I'm asking you guys anything really. I don't know. I'm just trying to get something off my chest that I can't seem to really put into words. I just don't get it. I just really don't get it. And I know a lot of you guys out there who have channels definitely understand where I'm coming from because it's frustrating and it's really, really, really frustrating and I'm like getting emotional about it because I put my heart and soul into these videos and they're just not cutting it and people just aren't enjoying them, I guess. And there's certain videos I love to do and I love to edit and film and people aren't watching them. When you get advice about YouTube, people say like, you know, do this kind of video or that's what's popular now. And I don't really care what's popular now. I want to do what I enjoy and I want people to know that I'm being genuine about it. And that's what makes it so difficult. With the new year, I wanted to, you know, people want to set goals. And every year I set a goal to hit a certain number of subscribers, not for the number, but just because I want to make this a job and I don't want to give it up. And I know if I have to go and find another full-time job to pay the bills, then I'm not going to be able to do YouTube anymore and I'm already thinking about cutting down on the amount that I upload. I always upload two videos a week and I haven't missed my schedule and I think over a year, if, if anything, I've added an extra video into the week. I've already cut down on my monthly favorites. I've already told you guys that I think a couple of weeks ago and I can't risk putting my time and effort into videos that just aren't cutting it. I feel like the videos I put the most effort in are the ones that get the least views, the ones that I enjoy the most and I watch back and I think, wow, that was so enjoyable to film, are the ones that get no views. And I want to do more fun videos, I want to interact with you guys, I want to do more Q&As, and I want to be able to do videos like that, but I just don't seem to be able to get enough viewers to care. When I ask you guys questions on social media, a lot of you guys, I don't even want to say a lot of you guys, like a handful of you always answer me and you always reach out to me and favorite my tweets and like my pictures on Instagram and I really really appreciate that. You guys have no idea how much that means to me because when I see that you guys do that, I always answer. Like I, if I don't answer you for some reason on a social media or YouTube comment, it's because I literally never saw it because I love you guys and I just want you to know that I appreciate you who are out there and care. I just couldn't even go on Twitter and ask you guys for questions for a Q&A because I would only get about three of them and it would just not even get views on the video. People just wouldn't watch it and it's really it really bums me out because it makes me feel like this isn't worth it. It makes me feel like what I want to do in my dream and what I put so much effort and time into just isn't worth it and I've thought about quitting so many times. There was at one point in this summer I thought, okay, I um... I'm gonna finish out this month and then I'm just not gonna upload anymore and I wasn't even gonna put a video up telling you guys about it. I just thought no one's even gonna care. And the thing is, I don't feel like I have low confidence. You know, I think I definitely struggle with certain things like everyone does, like no one thinks they're perfect. But I definitely always thought I had pretty good self-confidence in myself, especially on my YouTube videos. Like, there's something wrong where people just aren't enjoying my videos. I've become so obsessed with this and I watch YouTube every single night, every single night before I go to bed. I watch YouTube every single night and I love so many, I love so many of the people that I watch and I feel like I know them which is so crazy but I feel like you guys probably feel like you know me at least my loyal subscribers who watch all of my videos and it really hurts me that I mean it's almost like feeling like the unpopular kid in school but worse because at least at school when people didn't like me I knew I wasn't being myself when I was in middle school and high school like I knew like I hid a part of myself from people and I didn't really know who I was but now I do and I feel pretty confident in myself and I put myself out there a hundred percent like people who meet me in person who see my videos say that I'm so much like my videos and that I'm so genuine with my videos and that I'm completely myself and I don't fake anything I feel like it's even worse than it is then in high school because then you're not putting yourself out there so if people don't like you and you're not popular it's it's like, well, I'm not really putting myself out there, so I'm not really being rejected. It's the, like, the front I'm putting up that's being rejected, but on my channel, it's not like that. So it's kind of like being in a relationship where you are 100% yourself. You finally let down all your walls and that person rejected you, and I've been there, and that sucks. And this is almost worse because I'm putting my true self 100% out there. I just feel like on YouTube, especially in the last year or so, I've become so myself. I've shared so much more personal stories on here where people in my life who've been in those stories with me can watch these videos and 
I, it scares me a little bit, but I've put up my craziest dating stories, my embarrassing moments, and I've put up my first period story, my first kiss story, like a lot of personal things to me, and I've posted them on here, and not even just the stories, but my personality, and I've, I've been so raw with you guys, and honest, and I just feel like I'm being rejected, and I know that it's not about the number, just like in in life, it's not about the number of friends you have, but like the actual quality of the friends that you do have, and I get, I, I get that it's supposed to be like that in life and I get that in life but on YouTube I feel like it is a popularity contest I do need to get more people to like me in order to be successful and the thing is I feel like I know all the ways to be successful but it's not working I will only be genuine and I won't fake it and I won't you know make a video I'm not proud of and I won't make a video I don't enjoy about a topic I don't care about and I won't spam someone's comments because I want to get a number of subscribers but is genuine like, being genuine not appreciated on YouTube anymore or something like I just don't I don't get it and I've already almost cried like four times in this video because it's just really bumming me out and um, I'm sorry if I bummed you guys out I didn't really mean to but it's really sad and I have definitely considered quitting YouTube because of it and I you know I there were so many times where I was like I'm never gonna quit it's just gonna be something I'm always gonna want to do I'm gonna love it but it's sad that when you put so much effort in you just get no recognition and in the last couple of months I've definitely considered quitting and as much as I love it and don't want to give it up it's almost like being in a relationship with someone who doesn't appreciate you and as much as you love them and want to do something for them you kind of have to give up because it's just not two-way street anymore and I just almost feel like YouTube never was a two-way street for me I was always putting out everything and not getting anything in return and I just don't know how long I can do this for and I'm not saying right now that I'm quitting 100% and I'm not saying that I'm not quitting 100% it's definitely really upsetting to know that what you're doing isn't paying off and if I can make more sense of this and kind of put my thoughts and feelings about this topic out better I will do a blog post and leave it in the description box by the time this video goes up because obviously as you can tell from the lights back here I filmed this quite a while ago I've just been feeling like this for a while and wanted to get it off my chest and let you guys know I still have a blast when I film my videos and I enjoy every second of it but I just second guess myself a lot now because of the success I'm not getting. I want a job where I don't feel like I'm working out when I love what I do and that's how I feel about YouTube and blogging and the thing about that is that you're doing it but it's still considered a hobby like as much as I want this to be my career and consider it a career on my resume it and I probably put full-time hours into it it's just not my career because I'm not successful at it. Every day almost every day for the last couple of months I've been feeling down and very pro quitting YouTube and it kills me because I love it so much but it's definitely a consideration of mine. I can't just put videos up for three or four people and I wish that I could and I wish that that was the way it was and I would love to do that if I could I would but I can't really live off of that anymore and I can't take those chances anymore. And it sucks. And I wish that, you know, YouTube wasn't a popularity contest, which it really seems like it is, which sucks because there are some big YouTubers who watch my videos who I want to look at them in their face and be like, the only way you get, like, even my early successful is from a shout out from someone bigger than you. And as much as that's true, and I wish I could beg people for subscribers and for help, it just... I just couldn't do that because it's not who I am and I think even if I met some of the big youtubers who I admire I don't think I would even bring up my channel I don't think I would even ask them I can never do that because I admire them too much and I don't think that and I think that they understand that. I think that they understand the ones that I admire understand that you have to become successful on your own not from hand me a handout from other people so sorry this video has been so long and emotional and I've definitely teared up a lot but I think I'm gonna go and I just want to say thank you to you guys who've been watching me for a long time or even just starting to any of you guys who really enjoy my videos I just want you guys to know that I really really appreciate you and um, I really love you guys because you've been like some of my best friends 
and the fact that I can be myself in these videos and put them out for you guys every week and you enjoy them and give them a thumbs up and always call it something super nice. I just, you never know, you'll never know how much that means to me. I really hope that my confidence gets boosted back up with YouTube and I just want to keep uploading all the time. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys maybe hopefully in my next video. Bye.